If you're watching this video while playing Hypixel, here's a little science experiment you could try right now. If you execute this command, this will occur. This is one of 13 secret fun commands on Hypixel, which are commands that are either put out of business, or do something that may range from useless, to extravagantly useless. But one secret command would prove to be more harmful than usual. Some of you may recognize this as the infamous slime test ban wave. The slime test command was a command that was supposed to be used only by the admins, but was somehow able to be used by the public. But most of you are probably wondering in your head. What happened? Why does this command exist? And why did people get banned for simply using it? That's a good question in my opinion and standards. So sit on a something. And put on your Elsa bicycle helmets. Today, we will dive into the slime test catastrophe. The day is October 27, 2020. And people were starting to get used to school during quarantine. Some guys who weren't sleeping because they had issues or something, were up very early in the morning. At around 6 am or so. Everything was going fine when this post showed up. It was table chair. And this guy needed help because this command called slime test was supposedly going to crash the game. Now, at this time, the forums were infamous for being full of spam and jokes, so just for laughs and gags, some people decided to do slash slime test, and, hold up. This genuinely confused some people, and as you might have expected, some people did not know how to respond. So they pulled up Higishal. They advertised the command to literally everyone else by using the forums. The purpose of the command was to spawn a slime with a specified size, and there was no limit to the size. And for some random Microsoft reason, it only took a few big slimes to cause your TX 30 million 5 gig to become a sneezing atomic bomb. Pictures and videos of slimes everywhere were breaking out, and people were spreading the name of the command faster than a slime can bounce off into the distance. Everyone was doing it. Little slimes, big slimes, one slime, two slime, hub slime, island slime. Hold on, did an admin spawn this? I don't care. Okay maybe I do care now. And they should care. Because of these slimes, which were everywhere and lagging the freak out of the servers, they were causing more than just lag. I'm pretty sure that if a lobby gets laggy enough, the lobby will crash. And when a lobby crashes, two things can happen. Due to Hypixel apparently being in the fourth dimension and constantly messing up timelines, there's a 50% chance that everybody gets kicked into the lobby, nothing out of the usual. But there's a 50% chance that everybody in the lobby will be sent back in time when the lobby crashes. This is called a rollback. Everything you did in the past few minutes will be undone. For example, if you bought some superior dragon armor and the lobby crashed, the superior dragon armor will disappear in a rollback. And you won't get your coins back, because the servers treat coin data differently. It's honestly hard to explain, but let's just say that lots of people kiss their master farmer goodbye and... Sorry I can't read this. However, it was also possible for a rollback to cause coin duplication. If you withdrew coins from the bank and the lobby experienced a rollback, it was possible for the coins you withdrew to be in your purse and bank at the same time. And since you could crash your lobby at any time with the slime test command, people began to abuse this and hope for coin duplication. It was a disaster. Every second skyblock lobby laggy. People losing their precious silver fangs. The local troublemaker trying to dupe 100,000 coins. The entropy and chaos of the community was increasing. But one man stood up to this oppression. His name was Rare Whale. And he took it upon himself to kill every single one of these slimes to say, Luckily, an admin stepped in and removed slime test privileges from the public. It was Minicloon. He also gave an extremely bone-chilling warning to everyone in his lobby. Not only that, but those who abused the command were banned for 30 days. 
A lot of people got banned, so I'm only going to cover a few people. One of my friends who is apparently called Travis XX was died, after spawning about two slimes. One of the main culprits of the server crashing was a man called Noob Tooth Fairy. He and some unspecified others came forward and apologized for spawning a bunch of big slimes everywhere he went. And it took a while for him to learn it was not very nice to crash every server he went to. Luckily, everyone forgave him. A guy who smells nicer than everyone on earth decides to hold a poll, asking if these people deserved to be banned. 60% said it was deserved. And Ooga Booga 32 steps in to shut it all down. A man from 69 Weed Street did not like that at all. And after that, things about the slime test incident would go quiet. The general population of the United States of America were just waking up, and they had no idea what they were going to log on to. None of the players that lost items to server crashes got refunded at all by the Hypixel staff. This was especially bad for those who bid millions of coins during the dark auction, only for it to be lost due to serious erupting into slime. My best guess is that a few 10 million coins of damage were done in this incident. And that a few 10 players were banned, similar to the size of other Hypixel Skyblock ban waves. And as far as I know, there was nobody who could manage to dupe using the slime test. And even if they somehow did, they would have been wiped due to Hypixel's alert system. This event would go down as one of the silliest ban waves in Skyblock, with people laughing at those who got banned just for spawning slimes. I guess you could say, they failed the slime test. Many people questioned whether the exploiter should be unbanned, and many others questioned why the command existed in the first place. So let's start with why the command existed in the first place. The slime test command has existed since 2016, or maybe even earlier. Which is way before Skyblock or even Bed Wars was released. Its first mention was 4 years ago, when this dude asked for a list of all the commands on Hypixel. A user responded with the entire command list on Hypixel, which is accessible by typing slash and then tab. This included slash slime test. When he was asked which ones could be ran by the player, he did not respond. It would take over 4 years for someone to finally figure out that the slime test command was usable. Which most likely happened due to a bored player trying all the commands on Hypixel. 4 years of going unnoticed and not causing any server-wide panic. The main games by 2016 were Sky Wars, UHC, and other classic games, and it wouldn't make sense for an admin to implement a command to spawn slimes on demand when slimes don't make sense in those many games, and not even the admins were going to need it. It's possible that the slime test command came along with the other plugins used to program the games, but there are no Minecraft plugins that just randomly come with a slime test command. Also, there were some other test commands on Hypixel. Tests involving books, boss bars, nicks, ping, packages, pinatas, sound, and so on. Slime test is the only mob spawning command, out of all the mobs. Another mystery is why the slime test command was available to the public. It was most likely a mistake, but I find it very unlikely that it managed to go unused for 4 years when tens of thousands of players are online every day poking around at random stuff. I doubt that any of the admins today remember who made the command or why it was created, and it's possible that the original creator has retired and vanished into a vanished person. We may never find out the truth behind the slime test command. As for the people who got banned for slime test, none of them were unbanned. It is true that using the slime test to intentionally crash lobbies counts as an exploit, as people know that lobby crashes can lead to coin duplication. But a lot of the times, the people had no idea what was going on and just wanted to test the command without crashing the lobby, which wouldn't fall under the exploit-related ban conditions. But it was probably too hard to look at each individual case when hundreds of people used the command. So they just banned everyone who used the I command don't think multiple crashing times. A spider's Did den you with four in game characters killed? killed? Speaking of commands that cause more trouble than intended, that brings us to our next section of the video. Whereas slime test now requires you to buy admin rank, there is one command that still exists today, which anyone can use, that can indirectly get you punished. 
The Zoo Command. The Zoo Command is a command that takes you to the Hypixel Skyblock Lobby. However, many new players don't know this, and upon the first time seeing this command, they might think it's a command that takes you to a zoo. Why does this exist? More like. Why are you asking me? Many seasoned players like to take advantage of this, and in their free time, they sometimes go around telling nons to do slash zoo for free Hypixel pets. This tactic is used widely on Hypixel Skyblock, and it's an efficient method to trick people that you don't like into leaving your lobby. However, due to this other command called chat report, people get muted for tricking people into leaving their lobby. That's because it is apparently punishable to bait inexperienced people into using slash zoo. Although it's probably easier to just disable the zoo command, there are similar methods that you can probably get away with. One method is asking people why 100k pure handsome is on slash is top even though he is white. The thing is that there is no slash is top command, and the server just sees the command as slash is, which sends you to your island. There's also the free giveaway method, where you tell people to visit your island for awesome free giveaway. You could also tell people that Technoblade is in Hub 3. This works very well on Mash Clash. Anyways we've gotten absolutely off topic. The moral of the story is, if you see paranormal activity in the hub, absolutely do not listen to people advertising commands. And also do not ask why 100k pure handsome is on slash is top. And check out my other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.